Hey, what's up guys? Tonight we're going to be replacing the CCV crank case vent valves on the uh, BMW E65, BMW E66, and this is the N62 8-cylinder motor, um, also in the X5s and the 6 Series BMWs, but my car here is the E65, E66, and so first thing what we're going to do here is we're going to lift the hood and for this project we do not need to jack up the car we just need to lift the hood up which uh, I'm glad so let's go ahead and do that now alright we got our hood up and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you what the uh, crankcase vent valves look like before we get into the project and here's what they look like here and these are BMW uh, OEM um, parts here from the BMW dealership uh, these are actually I bought these online and I'll have a link in the description where you can pick up your own these ones were picked up um, they, these were made in uh, the Czech Republic so the part number might be different, but uh, that's the part number there. And um, so you have your black cap on the bottom there, and then your spring, and then your, of course, your seal right there. That's for your crankcase vent valve. I'll uh, take them out of the packaging in a second. These actually come with little cool little directions here too, so that's always nice. But uh, I'll uh, bring those out of the plastic in just a little bit here. All right, guys, I'm going to talk real quick about some symptoms of a bad um, the crankcase vent valves. Um, in my case, um, it threw up some the check engine light on my car and it had some lean fault codes. Those fault codes I'll have in the description box so check all that information out. Uh, for some reason I can't think of it on the top of my head. The codes are also in my reset check engine light uh, other video. I'll have a link for that in the description box below so check that out please for the uh, codes. Some symptoms are you're going to see some white smoke or some smoking coming from your engine. In some cases, you'll like mine, you'll have the uh, lean fault codes. In my case as well, I had some rough and rough idling or rough running and also you'll get some whistling noise from the engine and that's what I had as well. It almost sounds like a fan belt, a little bit of a whistle and I had that as well. The ultimate test now is um, after we're done with this project, we'll uh, see if the check engine light goes off. Those symptoms stop. Okay, and here's every tool that I uh, am going to use today. I have my iPhone uh, um, 4S uh, tripod little mount here so I can get some nice clear shots without shaking. Um, I have my extension here, my 10 millimeter here, my bicycle um, little thing here. I'll show you a little bit more in the video. And then I uh, did use a um, flathead uh, screwdriver for a little bit of prying, but not much. Mostly I use this here. Of course, my gloves and my towel. And so let's begin this wonderful process. All right, now as you look at the center of the engine here, you're going to see, of course, your uh, engine cover here. First thing we do is we're going to remove one, two, three, four screws. I've already removed this one here, and this is what it looks like here. It's just a little, um, I think these are called torque uh, torque screws or something like that anyway kinda of like it looks like a little connected washer on the end um, and that is a 10 millimeter to take that off so grab your 10 millimeter and take those four off there alright we got all four out right here now let's take off the uh, the cover and with the four screws out I just lift up in the middle here and it really there's no popping no anything like that just those kind of screws hold it down and then just pull up well, and there goes my screwdriver, and that's it. So it just comes, uh, just comes right up real easy once those four screws are out. And here's what that looks like there. It's the uh, top engine cover, and you can tell there's just a lot of uh, good installation in there, all the way down. And this is why you should probably have your engine professionally uh, cleaned. I mean, there is, you know, grit. Look at this here. There's grit all over the place from. Uh, the engine cover and then it just kind of lies in there. Um, this was probably the previous owner parking it outside. I mean just nasty. So uh, before I continue I'm going to go ahead and take a, a, um, a very lightly damp uh, rag. and I'm just gonna wipe this off. Careful not to spill it like down right here because you know when I do my oil changes I want to get that grit out of there. And so I'm gonna lightly clean this before I continue. Well it's definitely not perfectly clean but it's a little bit cleaner than it was before. Got some of those big uh, nasty uh, clumps of dirt out of there. Alright our CCV uh, vent valves are underneath this here so um, we're gonna pry this up and then of course if I'm looking at the car from the engine bay of course you got uh, one on your left you gotta remove 
and then this one on our right we're going to remove. So let's go ahead and pry that up. Again, we're starting with the one on the, uh, the left side here of the engine, and I found it the easiest thing to do. There's no screws holding this in, it's just some little pop tabs. So what I did is I went down below right here on the bottom here, and then this one is pressed in, you know, right next to the oil cap here. So I just kind of got my thumb underneath this one like this and reached below the other one. And then that side just popped right up like that there. And then let's get the, uh, the side down in the back here. Okay, so now we're in the back here and the front's already pulled up. So I think the best way to do this one is probably get your hand underneath it and then pop it up like that. Pretty simple. And watch the tubing and watch all the dusts and the debris. There's a tube right here. Make sure you don't rip that as you're pulling it out. Careful. And that's what the uh, left side looks like there. Just a little piece of plastic right there. All right, and that is your crankcase valve right here. Um, focal point, this is where you put in oil. And just right behind it is the top of the crankcase valve. All right, as you can see, um, my left one does not have um, a sensor or a tube coming out of the, uh, the little point here. Again, this is the E65, E66, um, so there's nothing connected there. It's just the uh, top. And so there are little tabs around the edges here. We need to pry up, so let's grab our little tool and pry those uh, little edges up to expose the, uh, the seal. Okay, my weapon of choice today is going to be a bicycle repair thing, or just grab anything that's going to be similar to a little lip on the end right there. Um, flathead screwdriver, you know, that will work, but you want to get like a, a small little lip on the end. And then what you do is just be careful because, you know, if your purchase uh, of the replacement one did not come with this cap, mine did, but um, some people uh, report they don't. So um, you just want to get your little hook underneath there and then pop it on up. All right, there's one. And then our next one is located right next to it. Okay, there's two, and again, that little hook just kind of hooks right underneath so you don't have to like be jamming a screwdriver in there. And I believe there's six, but we'll count them off. All right, just pop my third on the right-hand side of this little uh, spout thingy here. There's a third one, and then like uh, four and five and six, I believe, are, are down deep, so I'm going to have to get on the edge of the uh, car over here. Fourth one, we popped right here see on the uh, left side there and maybe we'll get lucky and maybe we only have to pop four let's just be gentle okay beautiful nice okay we just actually popped four got majority of them there so it looks like there is let's count right there one two three four five and before I pop that orange top off I'm just gonna clean around the edges here a little bit try to get some of that grit going here just in case I don't want anything falling where it shouldn't plus I don't like grit so okay and there's that so I haven't even taken it out yet and let me show you my problem what was uh, doing my lean fault codes watch this this is the problem with these things here is that they tear so watch this push down that see that little hole right there that is not supposed to be a little half moon look at how torn that is and so air is just getting sucked through, pushed out, whatever it is, but um, that is not good. So you might even hear a whistle. <whistles> that is not good, so we need to replace that bad boy. And for the removal, we don't have to be too careful because it's already ripped. All right, so we got it, and we're pulling it up. And that's what it looks like there. And as I peeled it up, I didn't rip it anymore, but again, that is your culprit. I mean, that, that's a half moon. That thing is terrible. Look at that thing. Look at that. No good. So we removed that part there, but we also, because our new one comes with a new spring, you just reach on in and grab that spring there. Remove that spring. Now, let's put the new one in. There's our little instruction manual that BMW gave us, but uh, we don't need that. So let's take a look at the better one now. So this is the brand new one here. This course is the old one there. And we have our spring, we have our cap and everything. And let's go ahead and put her on in. Okay, let me uh, show you uh, two things real quick. So this was the old cap here. And again, here's this little nozzle on here, right here, right? But it's not connected into anything on the uh, left-hand side. 
If you like that look, you can put the old cap back on the new one, but so I'm going to save this. Always save it just in case you crack one by accident. This is still good condition. So I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to use the new one, and of course this one doesn't have anything right here. So first thing we're going to do for installation is we're going to take the, uh, the spring here first, and we're going to put it right in the middle where we got the old one. Okay, and it just sits there in place. Now we're going to get our nice little beautiful brand new one here. And again, you know, after you order it, just kind of look around, make sure there's no little tears in it or you're going to have to send it back. Um, and we're going to put this straight down on the middle of the spring here. And then just put it in there, make sure it's all the way sealed down on it. Beautiful. Now let's put the cap on. Okay, so here's our caps. Make sure that your tabs are aligning on the little ridges where we clicked up from. And so I'm going to line them up on the little ridges there and then you're gonna get snaps and so push it all the way down so you get all the snaps into place alrighty and alright now it's time to put our little cover back into place so again watch that tube in the back slide your little uh, plastic there underneath we end up on right behind the uh, oil fill hole. Again, watch your little tubes there. Uh, press down in the back. There we go. I didn't really feel any snaps, but I felt it lock in. Again, I didn't hear any snaps, but I felt it uh, push into place. So you're going to feel it when it gets secure. All right, now we're going to go to the, uh, the right side over here. And uh, with this one, pretty much the same exact process. I'm not going to get too detailed on this side but I'll show you some uh, some main points here. Again on this side just watch your tubing here and here. Get your hand underneath. Pry it up. There we go. And watch the tubing in the back again. Okay, get underneath this one. It's always easier underneath. And then just remove that there. Okay, and um, the E65, E66 um, this is the 4.4 uh, liter, of course, um, V8, E66, um, E65 motor. But this is the N N62 motor, so if you're watching this and you have an X5 or a 6 series, you might have a line that runs into this. Well, mine doesn't. So now we're on the right side, and you've seen both of them. There's no connecting um, onto this here. I've watched some other videos, and they actually have a tube that connects on here. If you do, remove the tube, and then again, once you've put the new one in, then connect the tube back. But now we're going to again pop the, uh, the little tabs here. All right, again, we're on the right-hand side. We popped our tabs here. Again, I just popped four and carefully removed it. But you can pop all six if you really want to, but last two are kind of hard to reach. So we removed our cap. Okay, let's remove this guy here. And we'll take a look at it here. And this one's actually... This one's actually okay. It looks, uh, yeah, this one's actually all right. Well, I bought mine. It comes in a set of two, so um, that's not bad at all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this just in case for a spare. All right, remove this spring. All right, put the new spring back in. Now take your, your new one and inspect it, of course. Looks good. And we're going to plop that one right back in just like the other one we did there making sure it's nice and sealed in there nicely. Okay, and then again, line up your tabs. And there you go, you heard the snaps there. And again, don't be scared, you can put a little bit of pressure on it with your fingers, see, there's another one there. And just go all the way around, even again. And get those tabs nice and tight on there. Okay, perfect. And now put back your cover. Again, watch the uh, cabling wires there. Okay. All right, and get it on there. And this side, I, I pushed down on the center here and I heard a nice loud pop, which means that it's nice and secure. The other side I didn't, but you, you just know by filling it and you just know that that's on there secure. So this side is finished, uh, the cover. So let's put on our uh, main cover now. All right, now let's put on the main engine cover here. 
And again, we're just gonna set it down right underneath there. And that's pretty much the simplest thing we could do there. And now, let's screw in our uh, nice little holes here. And let me show you how you know you uh, are aligned right there. You know you're aligned right when you can fill inside that hole and you fill the little you know, uh, screws where you can screw the nut on. Let's put our screws back on. And then again, just with your 10 mil, get it on there. Nice and tight, all four, <clears throat> two, <clears throat> three, <clears throat> four. And that is it. That is a really simple job to do. Fantastic. And again, guys, thank you always for watching, and uh, if this has helped you out, please share it with your friends if they're having trouble with this as well. And um, again, look in the description box below for uh, links on the tools I used here, and to get the uh, crankcase vent valves uh, in the description box below. Uh, like always, all my videos, I try to include the tools where you can pick them up, um, and the parts as well in the links below. So check all that information out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, guys. I appreciate you as always, and you guys have yourself a good night and good fixing. Take care.